Hi, Russ from Pro Steam here. Today we have been asked by a contractor to uh, clean this floor. This is uh, a floor made by Project Floors, and um, the uh, the contractor put the uh, installed the floor, and then there were some issues with some glue residue on the surface of the tile, um, and he was struggling to. Uh, to remove the glue residue, and um, and obviously the, the customer couldn't uh, put the furniture back in the room until the floor was A1. So, contractor called us up the other day, and um, or in fact yesterday, and it was just by luck that we didn't have anything on this morning, and um, and so we've arrived to uh, to deep clean this project floor flooring. Um, we're using our Accenture machine and we're using all the correct cleaning products and what that will do is it will make sure that uh, any surface glue is uh, safely removed from the surface of this, this floor. And then once we've done that we're going to apply a layer of um, matte hard seal which is the uh, Dr Schutz brand floor sealants, there it is there. All our products are Dr. Schutz, only the best. And uh, so what we're gonna do, let's clean this, let's get it dry, let's get that seal on, and let's come back to this once the seal is on. Okay, so we have just scrubbed the floor, and this is what a glue residue looks like. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so. Some of the glue that gets uh, accidentally uh, applied to the surface of the tile needs to be removed. And as the, uh, the tiles kind of butt up to each other, the, any excess glue will, will obviously uh, spread to the surface. So um, this is why it's important to have the floor clean professionally once it's been laid. Um, okay, sometimes a, a mop and bucket simply is not enough. Right, okay, let's extract this and then uh, dry it and then uh, clean the other area, which is just through there, it's just a, a corridor. And once all that's done, we can apply our, our sealant. Right, so all the cleaning's been done now and um, the floor's dry. And for good measure, what I've done is I've crawled around on my hands and knees um, making sure that there are no glue residues left on the floor um, and it is perfectly dry uh, ready for sealing and that's exactly what we're going to do now we're going to seal this floor now at the moment this floor is kind of that's factory that's how the uh, manufacturer intended it to look okay um, it's pretty dull doesn't have much machine to it um, but colour-wise, it's a bit, it's a bit vague. It's a bit pasty. Does that make sense? Um, so, with a seal, we're going to enhance that colour, and we're going to just add just a little bit of sheen to the floor. Uh, it's a, a satin finish. So, um, uh, but it's difficult to explain. I'm just going to get on with it and then we'll come back to it and you can see for yourself how it looks then. Right, that's the job completed. So we've uh, deep cleaned the floor, we've removed the glue residue that was on top of the tile and we've uh, applied two layers of our matte hard seal and I think you'll agree that looks really nice. It's uh, kind of taken that ghostly kind of... Um, white look away from the uh, from the surface and it's it's made the colors really pop okay um and i'm really happy with that it's achieved the the uh, the, the sealant has achieved a uh, a satin finish um, so it's not shiny um, it just has a a little bit of sheen to it to give it a lift okay and as we walk this way, we've also, you can also see the uh, corridor there and 
and also the kitchen. Okay, so there you have it. Now, if you were struggling to get your new floor looking half decent and you're confused why the floor that's just been laid in your house, it doesn't look like the, uh, the sample that you, uh, you were looking at in the, in the shop, there's a good chance it's just, uh, it just needs a, a good clean and it needs to be finished with a sealant. Now, if this is the case, then definitely call us Pro Steam UK on zero double seven six five six zero six zero four zero or visit us at www.prosteamuk.com.